Okay, I think I finally got this thing figured out. So after talking to the people at History Day, I was told that you are going to create your exhibit on one canvas. They suggested Google Draw. So I have set up the template for Google Draw and it's huge. It's 72 inches by 72 inches. So if you literally were to print this out, it would be six feet tall, just like a board. With that being said, what I started to do was to take the information that you had on your slides and put it into a sort of a template that has three panels, just like a regular History Day exhibit, kind of. On the left here, I have some drag and drops that you can use to make your life easier for you. And the recommended size that I think works best. So it shows you there that when you want to kind of label things for like a viewing guide, everything should be in that purple or whatever color you guys decide to use, but it should be consistent. Same thing with the quotes, right? We want to keep the quotes all the same size and the same color. I have some that I've put there kind of, they're called dummy quotes that you can copy and paste your own quotes in there to make sure that it keeps the format of what I have there to make your life easier. When you do that, you want to hold down your shift and command key before you paste, or you can double click inside of here. And when you click the edit menu, click paste without formatting and it will maintain the formatting that we have selected paste without formatting. Okay. So the other thing that I've noticed with your project is that you are using a lot of the same types of pictures and some of the pictures aren't so good, right? We want to stay away from clip art. We want to use uh, actual photographs. The political cartoon you have there is great. The, um, the clip that shows the actual test results. That's great. Those are the things you want to, you want to use. You do not want to be grabbing things like your, um, I don't know, you have a couple of really like clip art that I think you were just trying to meet the requirement of the number of pictures. We probably won't need as many pictures. Okay. We're going to play around with this as we go. Uh, let's see how much of your information you can fit in here, squeeze in here. And the last thing I want you to, sh to show you is that I'm currently working, if you look at the top part, the zoom, I'm looking at 15% of this, at a 15% view that allows me to see the entire document. Um, when you want to see it a little larger, you can go 50% and you can see just how big this thing is. So when you present it, you're going to present it in a larger than 15% so they can make sure they read it. You'll probably go through like, okay, here's my center panel. Here's, here's our thesis statement. And then you can roll down from there. Okay. We may have to, again, adjust the font sizes. I may be working too big, but this will give us a place where we can start. All right. I hope you find that helpful.